<laughs> so environmental design in Minnesota, when I grew up, which was in the 80s, I graduated high school in 81, I graduated college in 87, and I got registered as an architect in 1988, I was 25. But the idea, the notion in the Institute of Technology, which was about environmental design, is how you can become more insulated, how you can close a house or a volume and be able to live within the earth and berm and get insulation ratings up through the roof and through the walls so that you don't lose heat. As time progressed and technology has improved, the whole perception of environmental design now is radically different. Yeah. It is today for environmental design purposes, we're designing homes. And the homes we design um, come with solar panels. And the solar panel is connected to a battery, which is like a car battery, which can last for an extended period of time. And can actually power a car, which in this case it powers a generator, which then the generator can power the air conditioning unit, which is the element in the homes in South Florida, which take up the most quantity, the largest amount of energy. We can provide that and put it into your house for $150,000 to $250,000 as part of your home, depends on the size of your home, and you can finance it. Well, that allows you, in essence, to be able to take your house off the grid, completely move it off of what Florida Power and Light tries to have you connected to. And that's where we're going. So the consumption of energy and the perception of environmental design and sustainability has changed. While at the same time, if you watch certain movies like After the Flood and so forth, you have to acknowledge, you don't have to, but you might want to acknowledge the uh, potential for ice melting and um, sea level rising, specifically in how it affects certain locations, such as Venice, mm -hmm. certain islands in the Indian Ocean, and potentially how it relates to here, to us here in Southeast Florida. Um, not only how the oceans rise, but how that salt water potentially comes up through the fresh water aquifer of what we call the Everglades, um, which was where we get our fresh water source. And that's how we see environmental design today.